we've read the comments and seen your tweets. And here, by popular demand, is a more in-depth look at one of the coolest new features that the OnePlus 5T brings to the table. Yes, today we try our best to fool the facial unlock feature and then proceed to fail miserably at it. Hey guys, Sundar here from C4E Tech. And before we begin, if seeing me repeatedly thwarted by a smartphone is something that tickles your funny bone, do make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, click on subscribe as well. Our OnePlus 5T review will be dropping shortly, so if you want to catch that as soon as it goes live, click on that bell icon and become part of the C4E notification squad. So let's put the facial unlock through the paces and see how it holds up. Android's had a facial unlock for ages. In fact, ever since the long gone days of ice cream sandwich, Google had bundled in a rudimentary version of it. But given that Android 4.0.1 came out way back in 2011, now how far has that feature come in the next half a decade? Sadly, the Pixel 2 doesn't have a facial unlock feature anymore, so we can probably assume that Google themselves have given up on it. And considering just how buggy the implementation was and how easy it was to fool, I can't say I'm surprised. OnePlus though is leaps and bounds ahead and the polish on the feature is evident from the moment you fire it up. Setting it up is a breeze and dare I say, it's as quick as setting up Face ID on the iPhone X. Pretty cool, right? Another interesting tidbit is that the facial unlock can store only one face, which is kind of disappointing, but I guess understandable. Even the iPhone X can store only one face. Okay, so now let's test this one out. Under normal indoor lighting, for the most part, the face unlock is so quick, I can't even steal a glimpse at the lock screen. It's just that fast and accurate. It does fail to recognize my face like once in every 5 to 10 times, but if you swipe up and tap the face icon, it rescans and almost surely recognize you this time and unlocks the phone. Time to test it out in a few more environments. Venturing out into the bright sunlight, it's no different. Wrap it fast once again. It's also more accurate. And now for the other extreme, let's get to a dark room and see if the 5T can still recognize my face. Since Face Unlock uses the selfie camera, obviously it does struggle in dark environments. But it doesn't exactly give up on you. If you set the screen brightness to 40 to 50%, it works like 50% of the times. Set it to 75 or 80, it's a bit more accurate. Set it to 100, it's almost as accurate as it was indoors. At certain angles though, it never works. But then with the fingerprint scanner backing it up, you're just one tap away from unlocking. Oh, and one more neat little trick, it doesn't unlock when you have your eyes closed. So if you guys are afraid of someone sneaking and using your face to open your device while you're fast asleep, you can rest easy. OnePlus has your back. But unfortunately, this also means that when you have your shades on, it fails to unlock the phone. Another instance where face unlock falters is when you have a light source facing right against the camera. So it's fast, we have proved that much, and I like how the phone unlocks as soon as I show my face unlike on the iPhone 10, where I have to swipe up even after it recognizes me. But can something this fast be foolproof as well? Turns out, yeah, it is. Here's me trying to fool it with a picture of me. No, that didn't work out at all. And trust me guys, I've tried it in every way possible, and we at the studio spent the last evening in various futile efforts trying to fool the facial unlock, but all in vain. It can even recognize the difference between a video and our face. What is this witchcraft? I don't know, but if you do, let us know in the comments down below. So how about changes to your face itself? Can it recognize your face when you put on a hat? Or when you shave your beard? You tell me. Anyway guys, that's it from me for this video. It certainly was a blast for me to shoot this. Hope you guys loved it. If you actually did, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, the OnePlus 5T has left me seriously impressed after this one. If you guys are as hyped as I am for this device, go ahead and give this video a share and spread the hype. And for everything else OnePlus 5T related, keep yourself glued to C4E Tech and join in on the conversation in the comments down below. This is Sundar, leaving for the moment. You guys have a fantastic weekend ahead.